world is a beautiful place. So much beauty nature has to offer, but at the same time, so much waste is left over by mankind. A very important type of this waste is sewage, wet waste. What is the solution to this waste? Well, one very efficient way of dealing with this waste is to reuse it. Now basically, what is sewage? Well, it is the untreated and impure water present in our world. But if we treat this water, we can use it. So we, a group of explorers, were out on a mission to find out how sewage is treated and how sewage is reused. Now we had gone to BGS Global Hospital and we asked their experts on how they treated and recycled the wet waste from the hospital. Honestly, we got many of our answers but we were hungry for more knowledge. So we had done tons of research and now we are ready to explain the process and working of a typical sewage treatment plant. The treatment process consists of 8 parts. screening grit removal, primary clarification, the aerobic process, secondary clarification, sludge thickening, sludge digesting and finally sludge drying. Now let's start with screening. Screening is adopted to remove larger floating solids and organic solids which do not become septic. These screens are placed perpendicular to the direction of flow and floating matter stuck to the screens are removed manually or mechanically. The screenings are then disposed of as landfill. The next part of this process is grit removal. The heavier inorganic matters are removed in this process. The heavier inorganic matters like grit, sand, eggshells, gravel etc are removed by sedimentation of the particles which can settle in the settling basin in the time of 60 seconds. The settled matter will be pushed to the sides and classifiers will transport the matter to its required place. The grit will be transported. Next step, primary clarification. A primary clarifier is a settling basin where inorganic matter will settle. The detention time in this tank is two to two and a half hours. The clarifiers may be of circular or rectangular in shape. The settled matter will be scrapped to the center by the raker arms and the primary sludge will be taken to the primary sludge pump house to pump the sludge to the sludge digesters. Now starts the aerobic process. The aerobic process takes place in the presence of aerobic microorganisms. The organic matter in the wastewater generally consists of proteins, carbohydrates, etc. When oxygen comes into contact with these constituents, a reaction takes place. The biological process converts finely divided organic matter into settleable flocculants. The oxygen required for the biological process is supplied by surface aerators installed. The next four processes include secondary clarification, sludge thickening, sludge digesting and sludge drying. During secondary clarification, the final organic matter settles and is cleared out. The excess water content is separated from the sludge by the process of sludge thickening. The sludge is then digested by the sludge digester and the digested sludge is spread over boulder, jelly and sand media for drying. This dried sludge is used as manure in agriculture. The remaining water is disinfected and chlorinated. It is used for flushes and garden sprinklers. It is not meant for human contact. Now you know how sewage is treated and we hope that with this knowledge you will be inspired to conserve water and save the environment.